Don't fancy having to memorize all your trigonometry values from a really boring table. Learn this trick with me today instead. Take either hand with your palm facing towards you and label your little finger as zero degrees, your ring finger as 30 degrees, 45 for the middle finger, 60 degrees for the index finger, and your thumb is 90 degrees. To find the trigonometry values here, we take the square root of the number that you have and divide by two. So, if we wanted sine of 60, we'd bend down our 60 degree finger, and you have three fingers that are underneath. So sine of 60 is the square root of three divided by two. Note that it's three here because there's three fingers underneath. Final answer, root three over two. Sine of 90 would mean to bend down your 90 degree finger, so your thumb, and have four fingers that are underneath. The square root of four over two simplifies to one. So sine of 90 equals one. Now it's your turn. What does sine of 45 simplify to? You should have got the square root of two over two. Just how we're counting the fingers below for sine questions is the fingers above for cosine. So for cos of 60, bend down your 60 degree finger and count the fingers above. We have one. So cos of 60 is the square root of one divided by two, which simplifies to a half. Finally, for tan, there's an extra twist. We still count fingers, but in a different way. Let's find tan of 30. Let's bend down our 30 degree finger, so we've got three cosine fingers above and one sine finger below. For tan, we flip our hand over. So we have one sine finger above now and the three cosine fingers below. Tan is the square root of fingers over the square root of fingers. So the square root of one over the square root of three. This will simplify to one over root three. What would be tan of 45 degrees? It should be the square root of two divided by the square root of two which would simplify to one.